Hello and welcome to this video on the Linux auditing system on Oracle Linux. In this video we'll describe the purpose of the Linux auditing system and we'll also demonstrate the command line interface to create audit rules and search for and report on violation of these rules. Auditing tracks user activity and system operations on your system. Auditing does not implement additional security. It reports only on security violations. Auditing can affect system performance, depending upon the amount of information that is logged. Test each rule to determine impact on performance. To view the Linux auditing system configuration files and run auditing commands, open a terminal to your host system. In this demonstration, we use a fully patched Oracle Linux instance on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. So let's get started. First, we will verify the audit packages installed by running the command sudo minus capital E DNF list installed pipe grep audit. For this demonstration, the package is already installed. Next, we will verify the audit D service is running by running the command sudo systemctl status audit D. Again, for this demonstration, the service is running and is enabled to start at boot time. Next, we will view the audit daemon configuration file by running the command sudo cat slash etc slash audit slash audit d dot conf. We'll view the man page on this file by running the command man audit d dot conf. This audit d dot conf file contains configuration information specific to the audit daemon. Each line should contain one configuration keyword, an equal sign, and then followed by appropriate configuration information. Descriptions of the keywords are given. For example, log underscore file specifies the full path name to the log file where audit records will be stored. I'll exit the man page and we can see that log underscore file in the audit daemon configuration file is set to slash var slash log slash audit slash audit dot log by default. So this is the log file where audit records will be stored. I'll clear the screen and next we'll view the audit rules file by running the command sudo cat slash etc slash audit slash audit dot rules. As the file name implies, the audit rules file contains the audit rules. Initially, this file contains only control rules. Control rules generally involve configuring the audit system rather than telling it what to watch for. These options are described on the audit CTL man page. We'll view the audit CTL man page by running the command man audit CTL. Under configuration options, we see that the minus capital D entry deletes all rules. The minus B option sets the maximum number of outstanding audit buffers allowed. The minus F option sets the failure mode, which tells the kernel how to handle critical errors. The dash dash backlog underscore wait underscore time sets the time for the kernel to wait when the backlog limit is reached before queuing more audit events to be transferred to audit D. Again, these options are referred to as control rules because they involve configuring the audit system. Another type of rules are called file system rules. File system rules allow you to log or watch access to files or directories. These rules use the dash W or watch option. I'll search for dash W and you can see that you use the dash W option to insert a watch for the file system object at a path argument. Before we create a watch rule, I'll exit the man page and clear the screen and we'll list the audit rules by running the command sudo audit ctl minus L. The output indicates that there are currently no audit rules. We saw that there were control rules, but these control rules are not shown when running the audit ctl minus L command. We'll create a file system rule using the audit ctl w command. This file system rule watches the slash etc slash passwd file. An audit event will be logged whenever a write occurs on the etc slash passwd file. I'll type the command sudo audit ctl w slash etc slash passwd minus p w minus k passwd. The file name to watch is etc slash passwd. The minus p option specifies the permissions to watch for, which is w or write. The minus k option specifies a key name, which can be anything, but in this example, I'll use passwd as the key name. As we'll see in a few seconds, the key name can be used by the au search command. Now, if I run the audit ctl minus l command to list the audit rules, we see our new file system audit rule. To test this rule, I'll run the add user command to add user John. This command causes a write to the slash etc passwd file. So I'll type the command 
sudo user add john. Now I'll use the au search command to search for events by key name. Our key name that we specified in the file system audit rule is passwd. So I'll type the command sudo au scarch minus k passwd. Our output contains three audit events. Each event has a timestamp. Each event also has an event ID and one or more message types. In this example, the event ID for the first event is 78203. The event ID for the second event is 78216. And the event ID for the third event is 78219. I'll point out some of the message types. A path event is generated for each path passed to a system call. CWD is the current working directory at the time of the system call. Syscall provides information on the system call that triggered the audit event. Explanation of all the information in an audit record is beyond the scope of this video. You can use the AU search command to query the audit logs based on different search criteria. I'll clear the screen and type the command AU search without any options. The output lists all of the search options and is also helpful in describing the information contained in an audit log record. The last command we'll show in this video is the AU report command. I'll clear the screen and type the command sudo AU report minus F. Here we see the two events logged when we ran the user add command, which caused a write on the slash etc slash passwd file. The date and time are given, as well as a numeric representation of the system calls that triggered the events and the event IDs. You can view the man page for the AU report command to see all of the available command options. This concludes this video. Thank you for watching. 